Hey guys, what's happening? Uh, this is Daxon here with Knoxout.org. I just came across this really, really cool website and I had to share it with you. Um, I've been looking for something like this since I got my 3D printer um, about a week ago. Actually, ex to be exact, it's eight days ago. But what this website will do is actually turn an image, a single image, into a 3D image, which I thought was crazy. There's there's a few apps out there like on the App Store where you can you know spin around uh, a picture or um, something in real life and take like 30 pictures of it and you gotta have perfect pictures and everything you know to make a 3D image. This one you can take one freaking image and turn it into your 3D object, which I thought was incredible. Uh, so kudos to these guys. I believe it's this is called Selva. That's how you would pronounce that. Um, I, I can put the link in the description, but I just want to make this video showing about it a little bit. But basically what you'll do is, I use Photoshop to make most of my images, like for my website, my YouTube videos, you know, other websites I make for people, my Android apps that I make, and all types of cool stuff. Um, so what I did, basically was, you know, once I got my image made, uh, you know, nice quality in Photoshop, you can simply come to this website and click the upload image button and let me get into my Dropbox here uh, website and I'll find the image that I'm talking about right here and I do have another video uh, my printer is the mono price select mini printer and it only prints g-code files I do have another video of how to um, convert one of these STL files like you get from this website or like if you download something someone else made and you want to get it to a g-code I do have um, a video showing how to convert that so that's definitely cool but this is what it turned my logo into and it's crazy how it knows like I mean, I guess everybody's different, but that's exactly everything I would have want to be extruded is the letters and then the, the border I added. Let me open up that image so you can kind of compare here. But yeah, I thought it was definitely really, really cool. This is the, the image. And I know the background's black, but there's actually a kind of a curved black border on here. But that's what that looks like. And then... What it turned it into is this, oops, is, I mean, awesome in my opinion. I'm happy I found this website. I'm happy someone made this um, technology here. I'd never even really knew this was possible, but I knew someone had to be doing it to make all the, you know, the cool stuff that they've been making. But uh, definitely appreciate this, and you should check this out. Um, but basically from here, it's pretty simple. I guess you have some settings you can mess with not exactly sure what threshold does with the 3d image I don't notice any difference but that's your height so I, yeah that's what that'll do okay that's cool you can edit it right in this online website here I'm gonna put it back down how it was to one but yeah, you can download the high quality STL for I guess two dollars and fifty cents. But I thought my the standard quality STL file looked just fine. But you can click here to download it, and then I use one two three D Design to edit stuff. And basically, I I um, came in here and I put it on a box. As you can see, there's the base there, and then I put it actually on the box, so it kind of something to print on. And then once it prints, I'll be able to stand it up on this end. This will be the bottom. I'll be able to stand it up on my and have it on my desk. You know, it's kind of cool. I have it printing right now, actually. If you hear my printer going in the background, but I definitely wanted to share this. Thought it was very interesting, cool, and it's going to be very helpful to me as I'm kind of exploring into the 3D printer world here. Um, but yeah, this is my website, uh, knoxad.org. Just telling the truth. It's got all types of cool stuff there. Everything you can imagine with you know the my printer specifically and uh, things that I've made you can download and things you know credits to other people that they've downloaded or that they've um, 
made and I have on my website for you to download. Definitely lots of cool stuff there, so please check it out. Thanks for your support. Like this video. Comment if you have any questions. I do have a lot of other videos. Like I said, they're on my website or here on my YouTube channel about 3D printing stuff. Subscribe to me so you can get, you know, every time I upload a new video, you can check that out. Like this video if I helped you out. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you later.